look at one of the state's abortion laws. Specifically, the bounty law. It allows any Oklahoman to sue if you help someone get an abortion, and that includes suing corporations, some of which have said they'd pay for out-of-state travel expenses for their employees. News Force Nick Camper is joining us with the details. He's been looking into this. Nick. Yeah, that's right. An OU law professor is giving some guidance on how companies should navigate the new bill in order to stay out of legal trouble. If a company um, you know, provides benefits that allows women to go out of state or to reimburse women for the cost of um, you know, getting abortion pills, then they would be civilly liable under this law. People can sue a company claiming the business knowingly assisted in an abortion. That includes fulfilling proposed travel reimbursement costs from companies like Starbucks, Amazon, and Dick's Sporting Goods. We're talking about somebody who offers $4,000 to have someone go have their baby's life terminated. Republican Senate Pro Tem Greg Treat says the law is designed to prevent companies from such action. Actions, the senator says, are focused on politics. I think some of these people are run by people who are no longer interested in profit but are interested in pushing a social agenda. Under the law, people that sue companies can receive up to $10,000. Starbucks employees say the legal cost is worth it for the company. If Starbucks wants to call itself a progressive company, they owe it to their workers to protect them. OU law professor Joseph Ty says he can think of three defenses companies can use in court. One of them is right to travel. As citizens of Oklahoma, we have the freedom to travel to Texas or Kansas, and the state of Oklahoma can't tell us that we can't. The other is right to free speech. We have a free speech right under the First Amendment to at least advise women about the availability of abortions and other reproductive health care um, in other states. And his final defense is about federalism. Under this federalism principle, one state cannot interfere with the public policy of another state. So that, how, that law we're talking about is House Bill 4327. Pr Professor Ty did say that it's early, so court cases will have to play out to determine a roadmap for the future. He says it could take years to determine which rights hold more weight than others.